covering Colorado's weather tonight. Meteorologist Dave Aguilera tracking a winter storm coming up this week, huh, coming Dave? Coming up about midweek. Yeah, we got a couple of nice days, though, before that happens, so you don't have to look like those dogs were scared at the vet until Wednesday when that storm uh, blows in here Wednesday night. Uh, highs today were pretty nice. We made it to 52 at uh, DIA, about 7 degrees warmer than yesterday. Even Greeley warmed up to 52. 51 in Fort Collins, and it was 50 in Boulder today. Current temperatures out there, a lot of teens and 20s showing up. It's 28 in Greeley, 15 in Leadville, and 30 on the button out there in Grand Junction. Hey, tonight there's a waxing gibbous. It will be a full blue super eclipse moon on Wednesday morning, about 5 o'clock in the morning. It uh, is the second full moon we've had this month. That makes it a blue uh, moon. It's a super moon because it's closer in its orbit, and it appears a little bit larger, and there's an eclipse that happens from about 0450 all the way up to past uh, 7 o'clock. So you might want to get up early. I'm hoping that the clouds don't ruin that for us, but it looks like they may with this storm coming in. We had a little bit of rain and a little bit of light snow in northeastern Colorado with uh, the jet stream and a little cold front kind of backing in to Colorado. Did not make it to Denver uh, tonight, but it did get close just east of DIA. Now it'll start pulling out this evening as high pressure moves in from Utah. Here's how it looks uh, on the surface map. Here's that front came through and then what happens tomorrow is that high strengthens it'll retreat somewhat moving into eastern Colorado you'll still be cool along the Kansas line out here and then Tuesday that high really gets some muscle gives us a good westerly flow turns to a warm front here we'll have some high cloudiness around here but we'll be uh, down sloping on the wind so that should really boost the temperature we may make it into the low 60s in Denver low to mid 60s maybe coming up by the time we get to Tuesday so for tonight on the futurecast computer model a little a bit of precip out here in the northeast and in the northern mountains with that jet stream flowing by. But by tomorrow morning, we'll partly cloudy and we'll see those clouds thin out somewhat in the afternoon, going mostly sunny as we get into the lunch hour and beyond. So we've got a pretty nice start to the week. Low temperatures tonight will be in the single digits in some of the mountain valleys, teens and single digits otherwise up there. And we're looking at 20s primarily along the front range here from Fort Collins down through Den Denver and DIA as well. Tomorrow, a little warmer. We'll be in the 50s here in the eastern plains, 40 in the mountains and 40s out there on the western slope as well. So my forecast tonight, partly cloudy, a little light breeze going on. We'll be in the mid-20s for the overnight low. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, very mild-mannered. We'll be about 56 for the high downtown, 54 at DIA. That's about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. 65 on Tuesday, but it will be breezy to windy, probably breezy in town, windy on the west side and in the mountains again. That will usher in a cold front coming up during the day on Wednesday. We'll have a high about 50, and then Wednesday night we might get a little rain snow mix and probably snow flurries on Thursday. Right now uh, accumulations don't look to be that large but as we've already seen you get a little bit of rain a little bit of snow could make it dicey for driving in that time. Yeah, icy conditions for sure. Mm -hmm. All right Dave thanks. A local high school